Uh, as I was mentioning, we started this, we kicked off the month with a session on coaching, how coaching is a secret weapon, which is used by successful people uh, to move up in life. It was followed by a session by Dr. Nopur on how to get in touch with our feelings to heal ourselves. That was followed by an awesome session by Shruti Maheshwari on the Yoga Sutras and how Yoga Sutras can help us become our own coach in life. That was followed by a session by Mr. Manoj Nair, who is a senior HR professional on how to create your destiny. And we kept the best for the last, which is a session, book launch session of an amazing book, Reset Your Life by Mr. Anil Bhasin. In case you would like to watch the recordings of the previous sessions that I mentioned, you could connect with us on our YouTube channel and watch those recordings there. We'll be sharing the link to the YouTube channel in our, the chat. Please click on it and join the YouTube channel. The session today is being organized, is being, uh, you know, the, the speaker for the session today is Mr. Anil Bhasin, who's a senior uh, industry professional having worked in the FMCG industry for over four decades. In his last assignment, he was heading uh, Hevels India, which is a 10,000 crore rupees super brand. He started his career with Bajaj Electricals in 1982, where he worked till, the, uh, till 2000. And during the 18 years that he worked with Bajaj Electricals, he got 17 promotions. But his life was not always very smooth and rosy. Uh, it is on the contrary been filled with a lot of struggles. He got 58% during his graduation. And thereafter, there was a stint when he was unemployed for a while. From those difficult days, he has risen to this position where he headed a billion dollar company and won many awards for the work that was that is done by him uh, during the 40 years. Notable amongst them are Peter Ducker Memorial Award of Excellence, Lifetime Achievement Award by Amity University, and Brick of Change Award by Mr. Amitabh Kant of Niti Aayog. Mr. Anil Basin, we are honored to have you with us for this session today. Thank you very much for uh, the profound uh, introduction. Thank you. Thank you, NLG. Uh, friends, how many of you are joining our session for the first time? If you are joining our session for the first time, please type FT in the chat box. If you are joining a mindful living session for the first time today, please type FT in the chat box. Thank you, friends. I understand there are quite a few of you who are joining us for the first time. So allow me a minute to introduce myself. My name is Ashish Kumar and I am the founder of Mindful Living. I started Mindful Living in 2018 with a mission to help 1 million working professionals lead healthier, happier, and wealthier lives. Prior to starting Mindful Living, I worked in the corporate sector in senior management roles with organizations like Tata Group, Marsh India, HCL, and a home healthcare enterprise started by the Dabur family. During the years of my working in the corporate sector, I saw how stressed people are in the corporates and the impact, the toll it is taking on their health, on their happiness, and on their financial well being. I thought to myself that there is an urgent need to take the message of living mindfully to the corporate sectors. And with that, vision in mind, I launched Mindful Living. And we have been fairly successful having conducted over 300 sessions for which has been attended by more than 10,000 employees and leading organizations that include, but are not limited to Aditya Birla Group, Tata Group, Schneider, Airbnb, Hero Group, Kotak Life, SDFC Life, and many other leading organizations. The session today is, being conducted as a part of our community initiative, which started in April 2020, when the first lockdown happened. Few of my friends reached out to me and requested me to conduct mindfulness meditation sessions for them as they were feeling anxious and stressed because they were not sure how to deal with the situation of lockdown. 
And on a weekend, uh, about 10 of my friends got together to uh, learn mindfulness. They felt good. The word spread. One thing led to the other. And over two years, we have grown to be a vibrant community of over 3,000 people, which connects every weekend to learn about different aspects of living mindfully, of living consciously. In case you would like to be a part of this awesome community, please click on the link that we are sharing in the chat and join our WhatsApp group. This is a very safe space. Uh, it's a non-political, non-religious group. This is a group of people which meets regularly uh, or shares regularly their learnings on how to live mindfully. Everybody shares their challenges, uh, their successes, and we all learn from each other. So in case you would like to be part of this awesome community, please click on the link and join us. Few housekeeping rules before I invite uh, Anilji uh, to take the session forward. Please keep your cameras on. It's very frustrating for the speaker to look at black tiles all around. So please keep your cameras on if you can and use the reactions button, which is there in the toolbar. Uh, you can see we have pointed it out and there is clap, there is thumbs up, there is love, there is celebration, and there is raise hand, which you can use when you want to ask a question. But anytime Anilji shares something which resonates with you, uh, please use these uh, uh, emojis and share your emotions with us, share your feedback with us. And uh, thank you friends once again for joining us today. And now I'll invite Anilji to share with us uh, about his awesome inspirational life journey and about his motivation to write the book, Reset Your Life. Over to you, Anilji. Thank you, Ashishji, for the opportunity given to me to uh, share my uh, life journey with you all. Uh, I have seen there are very, very senior people, those who are there. Normally, I do address to uh, uh, the students which are there. So uh, once again, thank you very much, Ashish ji, for giving me this platform. वो कहते हैं सकून है दिल के लिए कुछ तो एतराम करूं नजरें तो जो तुमसे मिले तो तुमको सलाम करूं मुझे तो होश नहीं तुम ही मशवरा दो कहां से छेडूं फसाना कहां खत्म करूं The life has been so long that the last uh, 60 years of my life. So I'll be sharing some of the professional and my personal journey. Uh, let me just start with my family that uh, I was born in a family. My father was in Air Force. My mother and father both uh, shifted from Pakistan. So we have seen that uh, partition uh, kind of the thing scenes which were there. And uh, we were five siblings, three sisters and two brothers. I did my schooling from Kendri Vidale Central School Halwara, which is near Ludhiana. So in 11th, I was in the last batch of nine plus two in 11th. Uh, I was given the command of becoming a doctor by my mother. My brother was given a command to become an engineer in 11. So we were given science. So we shifted to Delhi in 1977. And uh, the results came when I came to Delhi. So my, in my 11th uh, standard, my percentage was only 58%. While coming from uh, Punjab to Delhi, I was not aware of the Delhi University cutoff uh, uh, admission list. So I went to all the colleges uh, and filled up the form. At that point of time, it was all physical form. There was no online. But I didn't get admission in any of Delhi University in BSc. So one day we were staying in an old parental house in Maharoli. So somebody suggested that uh, uh, Gurgaon is very close by. You can get go and get admission in Haryana. So I went to Haryana, Gurgaon. Gurgaon at that point of time was uh, a bigger village, not the Gurgaon, what you see at this point of time. So I got admission there, so in pre-medical. In the first year of the pre-medical, I got only 58% marks. So I the things were very, very clear that I won't become a doctor. In second year and third year also, the percentage remained the same. The, the consistency was there that I secured only 58% marks. The 2% was left. So my dream of becoming a doctor was not there. My mother wanted me to become a doctor. So I tried for even veterinary also. There's a Hisar college. So I went there also. And I saw the papers, those who were fallen down, that whether my name is there in that fallen paper list or not. So it was not there also. So I didn't get admission in the veterinary uh, doctor also. I think uh, God was kind enough uh, for some of the animals that they he wanted to save the lives of the animals because... He knew my black box is only 58% marks. So 
something other was written on my uh, destiny my father wanted me to become a air force officer so i cleared ssb and went for the group discussion and the interview and i got rejected there when i came back home he asked me what happened so i said the entire group got rejected he said i am asking about you not about the group so and later on i came to know that written exam of ssb is very easy so anyone can qualify getting admission through the interview is very difficult so i got rejected there also so the only thing which was left with 58% marks and i applied for some of the government uh, exams also probationary officer bank uh, uh, officers and all but i didn't qualify for it so the thing which was left for me was only the sales so i joined sales and uh, before joining sales i had a stint of 6 uh, uh, to 8 months in a steel plant mini steel plant which i have written in my book reset your life i got uh, i got uh, a job in procter and gamble Uh, the multinational at that point of time the name of the company was richards and hindustan limited so i i was given the uh, toughest territory of jammu kashmir and himachal pradesh for 6 months jammu kashmir and 6 months himachal pradesh let me just share it with you i left the company after one year and i was jobless again i have written in my book that i was unemployed getting a salary of 2000 rupees in 1980 is equal to almost 80000 to 1 lakh rupees as a joining sir so i left the company let me just share it with you why i left the company is because there was no one to handhold me i was given the visiting card and i was thrown into the market and to go and sell later on i came to realize that selling is a process i was getting rejected at all the places out of 10 only two calls was productive so i had a self doubt on myself and i was jobless for 3 months then i did my self introspection kind of a thing that who i am and what i can do and after 3 months i got a job in bajaj electricals as ashish mentioned i worked there for 18 years started with a junior sales rep went up to the position of assistant general manager got 17 promotions there there also let me just tell you first few years were just a ordinary salesman but one turning point came let me just share it with you every person has got a turning point in your life you can have a course correction at that point of time i attended one session of shifera in year 85 or 87 that became the turning point and i after that i started reading books i started investing on myself so i would request everyone to uh, uh, make sure that please read books please please invest on yourself then only you will be able to get the things in your life and uh, having worked for bajaj electricals for 18 years uh, i was being asked to go to bombay i never wanted to go to bombay because of my family problems so i worked for singer india limited for 4 years therein i realized that uh, we have got 27 states and each state culture language and the way the business is done uh, and the social status also is different so uh, i was fortunate enough to travel across the country length and breadth i and i happen to visit all the major towns of the country otherwise the people those who are from north they treat the entire v as a madras so they don't know how many languages are there in the entire south all the four states so i was fortunate enough to uh, travel there so and after that in year 2004 i joined havels india limited and let me just tell you uh, the year 2004 the company turnover was close to around 430 crores and the total profit was not more than 30 crores and that was a very small company at that point of time uh, one of my colleagues sanjeev dham also sitting here and hearing to me he still recall all the things uh, in the reel so starting from that journey of uh, 430 crores the last year turnover of havels india limited was 14000 crores and the profit was more than 1400 crores i was a part of successful journey and let me just tell you in this 17 years in havels india limited i learned a lot from the promoters in bajaj i worked with shekhar bajaj who was the owner who is still the owner and in havels the founder chairman shri kimat rai gupta ji was there he who, who passed away in 2014 i learned a lot from them and the main reason of success in the havels uh, was basically uh, Uh, compatibility and skill set and uh, handling people management so i worked there for uh, more than 17 years and during this covid period 
as ashish was uh, talking about that uh, uh, the first phase of us is uh, basically learning the second is earning so i have worked for 40 years i have earned a lot for my future life so i thought that what do i do after super innovation after uh, getting retired from the company at the age of 60 because you have to hand over the baton to the young management who will take care otherwise there's no point carrying uh, working from 60 to 65 also so i i handed over the baton to my second in command and i took a super innovation so after super innovation i thought what to do then let me just tell you i first goal as ashish told that he started with 10 people i got a first call from a college from bhivani that I, we wanted to do a webinar and i was on a linkedin at a very very uh, niche stages so i thought i had done graduation from haryana so let me just give it back to the state so i i opted for it and i started doing webinar in the last 2 years i have done more than 200 webinars to all the mba colleges which includes all 20 iims of the country major iits all the mba colleges and i don't look at the banner of the college who who sends me the invitation whosoever sent me the invitation at times in a day i have done two to three three webinars uh, uh, in a day during covid period the only objective as ashish has told is that giving back to the society what we have earned and i share my failure story in that in my book also my first chapter is my failure story and the, in the year 1981 when i left procter and gamble i took a pledge to myself that the way i was treated uh, uh, without a training uh, without a hand holding i will make sure that anybody in the sales department i will hand hold his hand and i will make sure that everyone who who comes into the sales line is is uh, is is uh, given the right kind of the feedback that this is the right line and you should come to this and want to do the hand holding so my objective of hand holding was that and during as i have told that i have read more than 300 books so while traveling also in the air i used to pick up a book from the airport in the hotel also i used to uh, read that and uh, let me just be very frank with you in every book you get only 10 to 20 pages which are relevant to you so these 20 pages i used to make a hand written note uh uh the way uh, you can do scribbling with your own hand into the kind of a things so i used to do that i i had a collection of many folders in my office and in my office library also i used to tell students that anybody that can uh, borrow a book and can whether they want to return it back or not it, that is their choice so uh, during this covid period i thought that uh, rather than doing webinar which is which has got a life of only one day or if you have a recording you can keep it for a few uh, months or few weeks but i thought that let it, let me put it on a piece of paper so i started writing and uh, for those who uh, want to do this let me tell you i hired a coach mentor guide teacher advisor who is 25 years younger to me i took his advice and i did a lot of research uh, in writing a book and let me just share you one point which i would like to share it with you is that while going through the review of 50 top books of the world and in the review column in the star rating column my mentor told me that only look at the star 1 or star 2 which will tell you how people don't like the things which you which uh, the which has been written in the book so i made sure that i i i don't do the same kind of a mistake what other people have done it so you should also know that what is not to be done everyone knows what is to be done but what is not to be done is very very important and while going through the content of the book or subject of the books there were many topics which came the initial topic was confusion to clarity then i thought that uh, this topic of research your life is very very uh, appealing to me and in this book i have given a mca formula Uh, fortunately the uh, uh, the first m resonate with the mind which is ashish topic also is mindset we have to change our mindset uh, or we can say the attitude what we say and there are a lot of confusions there you see at our time there was only one doordarshan and one ice cream and one cinema hall in our area but today you have got 1000 channels Uh, hundreds uh, 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 type of ice cream so there is a lot of confusion what to do what not to do 
so confusion to clarity then the c stand for clarity and a stand for action unless you act nothing is going to happen and we have got some old quotes wo kehte hain kuch paane ke liye kuch khona padta hai main kehta hu kuch khane ke liye kuch khona nahi padta kuch paane ke liye kuch karna padta hai aur wo kehte hain khwaishon se nahi khirte phool jholi mein waqt ki shakhaon ko hilana hoga kuch nahi hoga andheron ko bura kehne se apne hisse ka deepak khud hi jalana hoga so god has given us this body to be rebirth every day and i say i don't celebrate my birthday i celebrate my rebirth every day i do a gratitude uh, prayer in the morning that god has given me one more day to give it back to the society to live my life fully and the way i want to do so i i enjoy every day as my rebirth rather than celebrating uh, your birthday once in a year and that too uh, you can't enjoy fully because of your preoccupied things so ashish with this i think i'll you know, take a pause and i have seen a very enthusiastic uh, audience today uh, and i would love to uh, answer answer some of the questions which are there in my uh, their mind uh, you can ask the questions on their behalf or if you can allow any one of them to ask the question then i'd be happy to uh, share the answer and these answers i'll be sharing some more uh, stories or incidents of my uh, failure and then uh, going to the success sure sure uh, anilji friends uh, you can use the raise hand uh, <coughs> button in the reactions toolbar and you can raise your hands and uh, we, we will invite you to ask a question yes dialji dialji we can't hear you Uh, Dealji, maybe uh, I'll request you to log in again. There is, seems to be an issue with your audio, uh, and in the meanwhile, we will invite Suresh to go ahead with this question. Sir, good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> sir, what what do you think is the most important quality of a salesperson? <clears throat> the most important quality of a salesperson is people management. in the mba schools the terminology which is taught is b2b and b2c is not relevant it is basically p2p people to people whether you are selling b2b or whether you are selling b2c or whether you are selling uh, to a direct customer it is the people connect which is very very important the second which is the thing which is very important is the persuasion you don't get the sales in the first attempt as i have shared with you if you do a 10 sales calls only two are productive that doesn't mean that the other eight calls have gone for a waste any sales which happens is happens only in the fifth call if you are lucky in the first stage when you are getting the order or when the call is successful uh, you should uh, know that four calls have been done by somebody else kind of thing and the other quality which a sales person should have is prioritize you should know what is important and what is urgent important things become urgent if you don't do at the right time your health is important your relationships are important if you don't take care of your health on a daily basis it will become urgent you will have to go to a doctor same is the case with relationship we have seen in the covid that uh, the relationship uh, mattered uh, and money uh, was not a criteria so the other thing which is required in the sales is basically trust the other person should trust you that what you are saying is right never tell any lie you should not use any tactics in the sales earlier when i joined the sales somebody said that you should be very over smart you should be a good liar you should do this you should do this but let me tell you people management is the thing whether you are in a family whether you are friends whether you are in sales and let me tell you everyone on this person on this earth is a sales person whether it is mother doctor lawyer politician everyone is a sales person one person one gets shy of getting saying that i am a sales person but i say i proudly say that anybody if he wants to join a career should join the career in the sales because my starting salary from 2000 i've gone to the uh, value of 2 crores it was only because i was in sales otherwise i would have got only 10 to 15% increment on a yearly basis and you can very well calculate from 2000 rupees if you do the compounding of 15% uh, increment what salary i would have got it uh, at my retirement age i hope i have suresh answered your question yes sir yes i got it thank you 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Suresh, for that question. Very interesting insights, Anilji. What you shared about understanding people uh, as a requirement to be a successful salespeople is, was also shared by my one of my bosses. He said, Ashish, people, sales is easy. People are difficult. If you figure out the people, sales then becomes easy. You know, so figure out people. I think that that's a great advice there. Thanks for that, Anilji. Uh, yes, Shashi, please go on. Okay, Mr. Basin, thanks a lot for an insightful, uh, you know, insight into your journey, etc. Just two points that I wanted to, um, you know, sort of ask, you know, or take your feedback on. You had mentioned about destiny in the beginning when you were talking about your education, this thing, and said it was not your destiny was somewhere else rather than being a doctor. And just when you were ending, you turned around and said, "Khud ko Deepak, you know, khud apna Deepak jalana chahiye." So. How much of it is destiny and how much of it is this apna Deepak Jalayan? Because as you say, har koi, see, anybody in life at any point in time takes a decision to succeed. There is nobody who takes a decision to, you know, otherwise, right? And everybody wants to take Muthi Asman. Huh? So, so how much of it is destiny and how much of it is actual, you know, apna Deepak Khud Jalana? You see, uh, Shashi, uh, you should always have an anchor of faith within your family, within your friend circle, within you, who should have a faith in you. Let me tell you, I was going through yesterday one of the video and in it, APJ Abdul Kalam went for becoming a pilot in Dehradun. So he got rejected. He was there in Rishikesh. He wanted to do a, a suicide. So one of the Swami said that, no, if you are not becoming an Air Force pilot, the destiny is somewhere else. So destiny, no one knows what uh, what is there. But you have to work on yourself. As I have told you in, in my initial talks that in Bajaj Electricals, in the first few years, I was a Chola Chuk salesman. I was handing a bag, going to the market, coming back. But later on, I thought, uh, later on, I realized that you have to invest on yourself. You have So you have to have the ingredients. Unless you invest on yourself, and I tell people also that in the organization, there is never an income gap. There is always a skill gap. You should improve your skills. Today, Sundar Pichoi gets a salary of 1,500 crores per annum as per Indian rupees. And there are people, those who are struggling for a package of 6 lakhs after doing an MBA. So if you, if you work on your skills, if you work on your, yourself, uh, learning is there. And if your learning is there, then your earning is there. And if you remove L from the learning, the earning is there. Unfortunately, what we do is after doing graduation and post-graduation, we stop investing on ourselves. Our body grows for 25 years. That is the natural growth given by God. But this mind growth after 25 years is in our hand. As I've showed you, our mindset, what we have to do. So our mind learning can go up to the age till the time we live. So we have to invest ourselves rather than being uh, uh, depending on our, our destiny or luck. And Dale Carnegie has clearly defined the uh, definition of luck. He says, luck is nothing but meeting point of alertness of mind when the opportunity is passing by. We all get opportunity, but at times we don't strike uh, that balance between the opportunity and the presence of mind. If you do it at that point of time, you in your life, you don't get a second chance to create a good first impression. And the first impression is the last impression. Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Anilji, for those insights there. Uh, I think it's very important for us to invest uh, in our continued learning. I think that was a great message there. Uh, Shashi, I hope that helps. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Thank you. Shashi, I want to say one more thing. They say that human beings are human beings. Human beings are human beings. They make every problem easy to make every problem. लोग यूं ही नहीं जाते मंदिरों में पूजा करने क्योंकि आस्था ही तो पत्थर को भगवान बना देती है। You have to have a self belief in yourself. Why we go to temples? Why we go to religious places and all? Because we believe in that and we have a faith in that. So you should have a self belief that you can do it. Nobody else will come and help you out in your life, whether your parents or your anybody else. You have to do it yourself. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I agree. All right, Anil. Yes. Yes, Anil, Mr. Anil Gard. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, so first, uh, honestly speaking, all 
the i would say wisdom which you shared with me uh, with us is very insightful i just have a one question because i also started my journey uh, recently in sales uh, earlier i was more kind of a delivery uh, handling the delivery part so from past two years i am reading a lot of books so i have a lot of uh, knowledge okay and i am documenting the same also but i am struggling to implement that knowledge okay like for example if you are uh, reading a book you pick up maybe four or five points so just imagine if you have kind of a 500 points to be implemented so how like i am really struggling uh, to implement the points if maybe intellectually i am more kind of understand the things but at the same time struggling in implementing those points maybe if you can give some advice on that anil i in my talk i start with the topic attitude when i address to students and there is a misconception that positive attitude uh, is a good thing let me just clarify positive attitude does not guarantee you for any success positive attitude with proper action i'll once again repeat proper action increases the probability of success does not guarantee you for any success so proper action has to be done action is to be done properly is to be done india has got a population of 130 crores how many people can go and uh, get olympic uh, medal in the history of 125 years of olympics india has got only 35 medals including gold silver and bronze because we don't do the things in a proper way selling is a process you have to understand it is a prospecting and then it is selling you have to have the understanding of the product knowledge you have to know what are the need interest and concern of a person let me just, if you have uh, asked about the selling let me just tell you in school and colleges we go to for what 20 years we are taught to answer the question in yes or no unfortunately britishers <laughs> have uh, given us uh, this education system which is not required at this point of time because we are we were conditioned to give answer in yes or no after doing a sales pitch if the buyer says that your product is expensive this is the question which has not to be answered in yes or no because if you say my product is not expensive he will say go and check the competitor and if you say my product is expensive then he say give me discount let me just anil tell you this is an objection in our schooling and colleges we have never taught how to handle objections so handling this objection how do you do it you have to say i understand by saying i understand take some time give a pause give some silence give some uh, time to basically uh, the other person to listen to you i understand money is one of the important criteria in taking the decision i understand money is one of the important criteria in taking the decision let me tell you about my quality after sale service and other features then sir i leave the option to you you decide on which product you want to buy or which product you don't want and let me just tell you having the experience of 40 years in sales the pressure is more on the buyer rather than on the seller if i give you 1000 crores and i tell you that you have to buy uh, items for indigo airlines including some of the aeroplanes the pressure would be more on you rather than doing a selling point of view because as a seller you are only selling one product as a buyer you are buying many products so as a seller you have to have trust and relationship you should not speak anything which is not right and you should try to build a long term relationship rather than doing a deal at this point of time so there should not be dealer kind of a thing deal kind of a thing and at times in the sale i say s stands for showing the products e stands for explaining the product l stands for let the customer decide you have to give the time to him and uh, sorry l, first l stand for lead the customer toward decision taking and last l is let the customer decide you should not be in a hurry to push it so always show the product explain the product lead the customer toward decision taking because the customer also is confused which product to buy which product not to buy if you want to buy a washing machine or a refrigerator or air condition there are so much of the variety that you get confused uh, confused which one to buy or which one not to buy so this is the selling is a process so i think anil you will be very good su- uh, successful salesman always have a self belief in you that whatever you are doing is right so thank you very much sir uh, one last point uh, so what i understood it's very important f- for a salesman to connect emotionally with the buyer right. until or unless you will not able to connect uh, emotionally 
probably you will not able to sell it so this is a uh, one lesson i learned very hard way so if you can just expand it how you can connect emotionally because you don't get a much time okay to understand even though like we are going through the social or maybe linkedin or other medium to understand but still you can't predict okay maybe okay, if you I'll, can I'll, I'll, one or two i'll, I'll try success uh, anil uh, i'll first answer your first question they say success does not come by reading or memorizing the principle that lead to success you have read many books there are many principles there are many uh, principles success only come by implementing that principles on a daily basis so you have to implement you have to take action second thing is emotional connect you have to be very honest sincere and transparent as i have said never tell a lie and you have to you have to go toward his side as i have told you you have to go to you have to have an empathy i understand i understand price is one of the important criteria here now you are going toward his side so always try to be on his side what is his need what is his interest and what is his concern if you if if you look at all the three aspects need interest and concern then i think so you are having a kind of an emotional connect with him or an empathy kind of sir any book you would like to suggest in sales uh, you any can party? sell you can sell by shifera or i would say you read my book reset your life <laughs> so that was also is good no definitely uh, that i would read but uh, again you can you... sell by shifera also is a good book for sales first you can you sell, can sell. Okay. you can you can win is also there but i i believe you must have already read you can uh, win yes. but you can sell is a good book for sales person those who want to understand some of the basic principle of sales thank you very much sir thank, thank you. you yes sir yes. kasbir hello hello dr jasbir sasre kal ji sachi kal ji Sir, thank I am you. fortunate to have your book in the first lot. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, whatever you said today is written there also. You have passed yeah. through a long struggle journey um, from two thousand to two crores a year. I just want to ask one simple question: Why vision is most scarce in the world, and how it it can in, we can increase the territory? I repeat my question. why vision is the most scarce item in the world and how we can increase this territory for our younger generation you see uh, uh, jasbir ji i have uh, i am lucky that i have met you in person you see in when we are in school or colleges in our family background we don't allow our children to think big or have dream they every every child has their own dream even including you at this point of time also have a dream वो कहते हैं हाथ वो कहते हैं हादसों के शहर में हादसों से डरता है मिट्टी का खिलौना है फना होने से डरता है मेरे दिल के कोने में एक मासूम सा बच्चा बड़ों की देख यह दुनिया बड़ा होने से डरता है वॉट वी डू इज वी वी टेल आर चिल्ड्रन नॉट टू ड्रीम बिग हम उनके सपने वहीं बंद कर देते हैं तो वो उनका विजन जो है वो वहीं खत्म हो जाता है आर एजुकेशन सिस्टम इज बेस्ड ऑन गेटिंग ए डिग्री after that degree you go and uh, get a job after getting a job you go and get a uh, money and after getting money you go and get married this is this is our life journey so our vision is never given to us and we are not taught how to handle failure also so anybody who has uh, succeeded in his life he has failed more number of time than the success what he has seen so we should allow our students or children or young generation To fail, वो कहते हैं गिर गया तो क्या हुआ गिरता वही जो चलता है बस इतना सा करना है कि उठकर फिर से चलना है यू शुड अलाउ पीपल टू ड्रीम बिग थिंक बिग एंड देन एक्ट फास्ट दैट मीन्स ए प्लांट अंडर ए बिग ट्री ड्रो टू दस्टेंट इट कैन ग्रो यस वी मस्ट मस्ट गिव अपॉर्चुनिटी टू आवर चिल्ड्रेन टू एक्सप्लोर दिस a uh, meet for your challenges and then they will succeed the way you have done ji salute to you really wonderful thank you dr jaspir yes samir please go on and ask your question yeah ajan ji good evening uh, uh, kafi acha laga aapka baat sun ke pura story uh, main ji ji main chahu to main bhi mere mujhe bhi kareeb 29 years ka sales experience hai but i would not say 
uh, I am not a very successful sales person, but yes, I have been doing sales throughout the throughout my career, and I was on the verge of leaving sales uh, at the time of COVID. But this वजह से मेरा sales में था mind block एक insurance को लेके मेरा mind block था that this is the hardest sales product to sell uh, in this uh, you know universe I would say. आप बिलीव नहीं करेंगे मैंने वही प्रोडक्ट लिया है नाउ इट इज माई कैरियर आई एम डूइंग सेल्स फॉर इंश्योरेंस फॉर लाइफ हेल्थ एंड मोटर इंश्योरेंस एंड आई स्टिल फील दैट इट इज अ वेरी टफ प्रोडक्ट टू सेल इट्स अ बिजनेस ऑफ रिजेक्शन आप आप ज्यादा जानते होंगे इसके बाद जी 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 पर यस ये जो आपने अभी बताया कि यू नो आपका सोच ही आपको जो ले जाती है और उसमें सेल्स के लिए बेस्ट पार्ट इज दैट you understand a customer requirement and then you suggest him what is best for him uh, keeping aside your interest in the product and into the benefit what you gain from going to get from the sales that is for sure definitely i totally agree with that particular point and i'm still struggling to be the best in the sales uh, insurance may be itna successful nahi hu but ha abhi 2 saal hue hain so i think i'll be able to success it. i'll get the success in this मेरे को एक चीज पूछना था माइंडसेट का डेफिनेटली ये जो आपने बताया कि यू नो टू नॉट डूइंग एनी इन्वेस्टमेंट इन 25 इयर्स ऑफ योर कैरियर लाइफ ऑन योर सेल्फ एंड देन यू स्टार्ट डूइंग यू नो माइंड डेवलपिंग योर माइंड और रीडिंग और इन्वेस्टिंग ऑन योर सेल्फ फॉर द नॉलेज पार्ट दैट इज वेरी ट्रू अगेन कोविड मेड मेड अस रियलाइज दैट वे कि यार खाली बैठे हैं तो क्या करें तो इतने सारे वेबिनार्स इतने सारे बुक्स और नॉवल्स और कुछ ना कुछ रीडिंग करके माइंड कर Uh, बहुत सारे वेबिनार्स देखे जिसमें कि माइंडसेट के ऊपर बहुत ज्यादा फोकस डेफिनेटली किया गया एंड इट इज गुड आल्सो बट मेरा क्वेश्चन पहले आशीष जी के साथ ये भी था कि समहाउ आई एम नॉट एबल टू प्रैक्टिस माइंडसेट आई डोंट नो वेदर माइंडसेट कम्स फर्स्ट और द सक्सेस कम्स फर्स्ट सो माइंडसेट को प्रैक्टिस करके सक्सेस लाया जाए या सक्सेसफुल हो तो हम माइंड प्रैक्टिस करें बट उसको एक और मुद्दा ये है कि माइंड कैसे प्रैक्टिस करे इन डेली लाइफ में इट इज वेरी ईजी they are very fortunate people who are able to practice mindset and you know implement mindset but mera definitely it is a it is a i would say a mind block hai ya kya i don't know i'm not able to implement mindset practice as such so any guidance on that anil ji aapke taraf se uh samir ji uh, i would uh, answer the question in two parts one is that sir sabse badi distraction hum sab logon ki ho gayi hai ye jo mobile sir kiya aa gaya na hamare paas mein मोबाइल तो सर माइंड कभी भी आप देखिएगा एनी इन्वेंशन विच हैिस्ट्री ऑफ दर्ल्ड वेन दाइंड वॉज फ्री टूडे वॉट हैज हैपन्ड इज विच एवर टाइम वी गेट फ्री वी जस्ट गो टू दी मोबाइल गो फॉर दी व्हाट्सएप गो फॉर दी सोशल मीडिया एंड ट्राई टू फॉरवर्ड दी मैसेज विच हैज कम टू अस वन एडवाइज टू ऑल ऑफ यू इज दैट अवॉइड डिस्ट्रैक्शन कीप समाइम फॉर योर सेल्फ i in my webinar say that you should invest one hour daily on your learning one hour daily on your learning improving you don't have to prove yourself you have to improve yourself and the other thing is that you have to invest one hour every day on your health so they, these two things are very important 20, in 24 hours if you take care of your health with your health your mind will get fresh if you take care of your health uh, body for one hour the body will take care of your Entire thing uh, for twenty three hours, and same is the case with your mind also. And the other thing, which as you told about the sales, is that I say the MBA full form should now be revised from Master of Business at Administration to Master of Business Adaptation. One has to adapt in the thing. You see, Darwin theory is today also relevant that it is not the strongest of the species that survive today, nor the most intelligent one. the species those survive today are the species those who are adapted to change you should not be the best or expert never treat as anil said that I, as you also said i am not the best or expert but you should be a trusted authority in your field and you should be adaptable you should be compatible today competence is there with many people but compatibility is not if you are into insurance business you have to uh, learn the things which are uh, suitable for insurance business so compatibility is very very important and i tell education qualification will get you a job but your success from there till the time you end your career is basically about your skill set 
about your compatibility, about how you handle people. These three things are very important. Thank you, Anilji. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Anilji. That was brilliant insight. Master of business adaptation. Being yes. adaptable is important for success. Thank you for right. Right. Uh, we have a friend from Germany, Jürgen. Uh, yes. Can you? Yes. You have a question. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, perfectly. Uh, <clears throat> First of all, thank you very much. Um, I can say that all what you explained, I can agree to it. Now I have one question because it came up uh, before. It was that you have to connect emotionally to your customer or to your buyer. And now for me, it's always somehow bustling. If I look to India, and I mean, we have the same thing more or less in Europe. That is, you have different cultures, you have different languages. And um, I always have seen that even in India, people might not understand the language. Uh, or not all people speak Hindi. If I think uh, about uh, Tamil Nadu, for instance, you find a lot of people who don't speak very well Hindi and they don't want to speak it. Some people don't speak very well English. So there's a lot of, of cultural barriers, language barriers and so on. How you handle this? Uh, Alter, uh, let me tell you, 70% of our decisions are taken on the basis of emotions. 30% of the decisions what we take are basically based on facts and figures. So emotional connect is very, very important. And people, I have traveled across the world People across the world, irrespective of their color of skin or the features or the height, the people across the world are almost same. Emotionally, behaviorally, they're almost same, provided you go toward his side and try to listen to their thing. Unfortunately, what we do is we try to speak more, we listen less. Listening is very, very important in emotional connect. You have to give more, you have to give ear to the other person. We only hear certain things, but we don't listen certain things. And as I tell you that your, what is their need, what is their interest, and what is their concern is to be seen. If you are speaking a vegetarian talk to all vegetarian, it is of no use. You have to convert non-vegetarian to vegetarian. So you should go and address non-vegetarian so that you can convert them to vegetarian. That is your selling skills uh, conversion from a non-vegetarian to a vegetarian. But if you are speaking a vegetarian conference and speaking about the vegetarian diet, it is of no use. So I think emotional connects are very, very important. I was uh, the other day uh, uh, viewing some of the actor uh, who was uh, doing the horse riding. Uh, he says, when you are uh, doing a film with the horse, you have to emotionally connect with the horse itself because animals also are emotionally very, very, you, if, if you have a dog in your house or a cat in your house, they, they understand emotion very well. Dhoni, who was the cricketer, uh, captain of the Indian team, if you are aware of it, he says, my dog does not know whether I have scored zero or hundred when I come home. He, he greets me the same emotion the way he, if I scored 100 or if I have, uh, got run at zero, but my face expressions are different at that point of time. So emotional connect is very, very important. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Jürgen, does that answer your question? Yes, or? yes, yes. Thank you for giving me the chance to ask. Thank you, thank you, Jürgen. Uh, friends, uh, we this is 5.50 and it's time to uh, be approaching, fast approaching the close of the session. So I understand there are a couple of questions and uh, we will try and take as many as we can before we close the session. But this is the time uh, for the book launch. So I will invite uh, Dr. Jasbir, who has got a copy of the book and any, anybody else who has got a copy of the book. Yes, yes, Sanjeev Ji. Mr. Dham, Mr. Dham yes. also. Has one. Yes, anybody who has got a copy of the book, please uh, raise, uh, uh, you know, raise it. We will add spotlight you. Dr. Jasbir, are you there? Yes. Yes, we uh, can't see you. Give me a minute. Sanjeev is there. He's on the spotlight. Yes, he has been spotlighted. Uh, yes, Dr. Jaspeer. And let me spotlight myself.
So, friends, this is a very proud moment to have Anilji with us and launch this awesome, awesome book, Reset Your Life. This is an amazing book. Ye jo Hindi mein kahawat hai ki gagar mein sagar. Is mein Anilji ne apne puri 300 books ka nichod is mein rakha hai, apne experiences is mein rakhe hai. So, I urge you to please click on the link which we have shared in the chat. Uh, which is uh, where the book is available on Amazon. And uh, there is a special 25% discount, uh, uh, which is a limited period discount. So please go and uh, buy uh, you know this book on the Amazon and benefit. There are a lot of things that you can learn from this and benefit from it. So thank you, Anilji, for uh, you know launching the book on Mindful Living Platform and sharing your insights with us. We have a couple of people more uh, to uh, take the questions from. Uh, and there are two people who have said, uh, uh, shared their questions on the chat. Uh, let me share with them. Uh, share them first before we get uh, Suresh and Pratibayan. How do we, this is a question, how do we be confident, you know, when we have self-doubt? You know, when we are in a downward spiral, are there any techniques we can use uh, to, you know, deal with that? जब सब कुछ अच्छा हो रहा है तो हम कॉन्फिडेंट रहते हैं बट जब डाउनवर्ड स्पाइरल में होते हैं उस समय हम कैसे कॉन्फिडेंट हो इज द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम वन ऑफ अवर पार्टिसिपेंट्स आशीष आई आई शेयर अ 4D फिलॉसफी फॉर सक्सेस आई से द एवरेज एबिलिटी एंड इंटेलिजेंस ऑफ अ ह्यूमन बीइंग इज ऑलमोस्ट सेम एवरेज एबिलिटी ऑफ अ ह्यूमन बीइंग इज ऑलमोस्ट सेम एबिलिटी एंड इंटेलिजेंस द 4Ds आर देयर द फर्स्ट इज यू हैव टू हैव अ डिजायर you have to have a proper direction you have to have a dedication to cross that 90 to 100% barrier and the last thing is your discipline so if you want to have all these four things you have to have desire to do the big things you have to have a direction why we need gurus why we need mentors is basically today between the arjun and karan karan was a better warrior but why arjun won was because he had a guru so we had uh, we should have a mentor we should have a proper direction and that is why we go to school colleges and dedication also is very very important as you have said people go to the level of 90% barrier crossing that 90 to 100 is very difficult and in the and the competition in the professional career is only in the top 10 not in the rest 90 that 90 they come to office for two time ka punch and one time ka lunch only they only work for their ctc so Competition is only in the top 10. And the last thing is discipline. You should learn, you should read many books where you see the failure stories of everyone. That's why in my book, I have shared my failure stories because in school and colleges, our children, they have never faced failure. They have today born in the age where everything was given to them, them on a yesterday basis. They have born in the yes generation. Everything, if they want anything, yes, you take, yes, yes. We have gone, we have got the things with all struggles. Our parent, grandparents have gone through a phase of sacrifice. We have gone through a phase of compromise. Our children are living their life, but handling failure is to be taught to them. And discipline also is very important. And you should tell them, go and read the autobiographies of people. Go and see the stories of Steve Jobs, who went to, who used to go to Hare Krishna's uh, Mandir for having a lunch, uh, walking seven kilometers on one side. So all success story has got a failure story. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that, NLG. Neera, who asked this question, is not there, but I'm sure she will watch the recording and benefit from it. Uh, I'll, uh, Suresh, I'd like to invite Pratibha uh, before you go. Uh, so, Pratibha, over to you. Please keep your question uh, short as we are... Uh, sure, sure. The the yeah, thank you so much, uh, Ashish Sir and Anil Sir, for the wonderful session. I just had a quick question, like, how do we develop our self-belief? Like, you mentioned self-belief many a time. So, how do we develop that? Like, and the gratitude... Should we do it in the morning um, or evenings or night? Like, so at what time do you personally practice and how do we work? Pratibha, every uh, creature has been given, everyone has a diamond in themselves. God has created this. Don't look at your body. What is your height? What is your color? What are your features? These are not going to make any difference. There's a law of personality, looks, action and words. Let me tell you, God has given every, every, every human being one unique uh, quality. And you have to see to it what is that unique quality. That is why I've shared that my percentage in school and college was only 58%. I could have said, no, my percentage was first class. So I intentionally declared it that my percentage was there so that people can connect with me, can correlate with me. 
so you have to work on that so diamond is there within you you have to see that which quality of you has to be sharpened and polished if i have the quality of communication and connecting with people i have worked on that i don't know anything about electrical industry but i have worked for electrical industry for more than 38 years i am not an engineer but i was head of the electrical company uh, who was making all the either bajaj electricals or havel in limited all products were havel and a gratitude you can do it every day as i shared with you every day in the morning you should be thankful to the god that god has given you one more day there are 1 lakh 78000 people those who die every day when they are in sleep so whenever we wake up in the morning we should be thankful to god and we should live that day as one day rather than waiting for procrastinating for next year resolution to come or uh, uh, time waiting for the times to come okay sir thank you but still i had a question like how do we know like which quality because <laughs> <laughs> that that self awareness has to come to you and you should have a guru as i told you you should have a uh, you should have a person who should have an anchor of faith in you your mother father sister brother uncle your friend anybody can tell what quality you have i i came to know that i i can be a good communicator so i started working on that and let me tell you initially i was not able to even give vote of thanks and let me tell you vote of thanks means thank you very much let's go for dinner <laughs> thank you thank you for sharing that anil ji we will take uh, suresh just uh, hold on there is a question we have got uh, in the chat uh, there there was an audio issue and the person miss uh, hearing what was your turning point sir so for the benefit of everybody who is there if you could share once again what was the turning point uh, in your life two turning points two turning point when i was uh, when i left the job uh, from richard uh, procter gamble that uh, i thought that why i am getting rejected and the second turning point was when i attended the shape thera training program uh, then i realized that i have to invest on myself i have to read books i have to uh, uh, upgrade my skills unless i do it i will be ordinary salesman so every person has got a turning point in their life and you can you can uh, do the course correction at any point of time in case if you have not done it in the initial stages of your life thank you thank you for sharing that energy and over to you suresh now for the last question for the evening yeah good evening sir it was a very impressive track record i mean 17 promotions no i've been in sales for 20 years and i know how difficult to get a one promotion no with all the bell curve everything congratulations and inspiring now people okay. like me who moved out of sales and uh, no because of you want to take a sabbatical and uh, move into uh, general uh, generalist role operations now we want to come back to sales Now, today is at fifty. There are a lot of limitations in today's job market, and we are also exploring entrepreneurship. So it is somewhere in the midlife kind of thing. What is the key uh, advice uh, for us to bounce back and uh, at least have some kind of a, a success ratio, which what you have been sharing? Any any sessions? Today is after fifty. I think so. The career graph goes down, so we should not look at the thing. Now you should look at what are your strengths. and in this what analysis and you should do entrepreneur kind of a thing you can do a training kind of a thing you there are many things online today uh, geographical boundaries are all history you can sit in your house if you have a internet connection if you have got a laptop you do a self uh, awareness that what are your strengths and you should you can have your mentor guide advisor who can and for that you will have to invest today you don't require a boss you require more of coaches and in coaching business also there are a lot of money invested for uh, writing the book also i hired a coach and i invested on him because i knew that if i do it i won't be doing the things in the right way so if you want to do some professional startup kind of a thing take some uh, advisory coach invest in them today after doing graduation and post graduation how many people invest in their own education uh, you ask people if i tell you you have to give 2 lakh rupees for one course nobody will come for this course because everyone will say why should i give 2 lakh i already know i have done mba master mujhe bahut aata hai what a what a definition mujhe bahut aata hai thank you thank you very much and uh, so friends we come to uh, at the end of the session and we really and, uh, ashish uh, for before closing i just uh, want to have two lines wo kehte hain zindagi sabhi ke liye जिंदगी सभी के लिए एक हसीन किताब है जिंदगी सभी के लिए एक हसीन किताब है जिंदगी सभी के लिए एक हसीन किताब है फर्क सिर्फ इतना है कि कोई हर पन्ने को दिल से पढ़ रहा है पैशन जिंदगी सभी के लिए एक हसीन किताब है फर्क सिर्फ इतना है कि हर पन्ने को दिल से पढ़ रहा है और कोई किसी का दिल रखने के लिए पन्ने पलट रहा है हर पल में प्यार है हर लम्हे में खुशी है 
जीलो तो खोदो तो यादें हैं और जीलो तो जिंदगी है तो इसीलिए लिव लाइफ किंग साइज एवरी डे वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस सो अमेजिंग सो अमेजिंग Uh, and energy uh, what is strong close to the session today uh, friends uh, please uh, we have shared this link with you in the chat uh, please click on the link and order your book once you have ordered it please type rbl reset your life in the chat so that we know you have ordered the book there are special offers which are there in the book you can avail of those special offers once you've got the book and now i'll invite you to share your feedback you have been giving your feedback actively Uh, through the session plus please take the time and uh, of 30 seconds and fill out this feedback form uh, and once you have filled out the feedback form please type fd in the chat box and while you are filling out the feedback form i would like to update that we have an amazing session uh, coming up next uh, saturday at 12 noon uh, by dr nupur agrawal who is based in london uk uh, our sessions in uh, august are dedicated to the theme of freedom and this one is about emotional freedom you know a lot of us get trapped in our own emotions and uh, you know this session will be how to handle our emotions and uh, she will share some very powerful very simple but very powerful techniques that you can use uh, to break free and uh, that uh, brings us to the close of the session uh, please uh, join us we have shared the link of the community with you please be a part of the community uh, please stay engaged uh, join us at well uh, noon next saturday 6th of august thank you everybody for joining us thank you anil thank you thank you thank you very much thank you very much everyone thank you